Well, very good evening. I'm John Keir, and this is Stockport County Live as the champions return to Edgeley Park tonight, looking to continue their solid start to the new campaign. Kicking off this evening, just a point outside the playoffs, which is going to be whipped in. At pace, wide of the target by February for Stockport County. The ball back with Corey Adai. Here's Ibi Torre. Down that inside left channel, Alafi making the running. He's taking the defender with him. He's inside the box. It's a great run from Alafi. Squares it and it ricochets horribly off Bates. There was nothing he could do. And it goes wide of the target. It's hard to see how it didn't end up in the net, but it came at him so quickly. Yeah, it was a terrific run, wasn't it? But uh, the ball, as Liam perfectly described, just flicked up and ended up coming at an awkward height for Odin Bailey. Again, in a good position, Bailey. He's only got three goals so far for County. As Eves with a glancing header, puts his head in his hands as if to say, well, that was close, but had I had that covered easily, did he? Well, Corey was certainly confident it was going <laughs> wide. It wasn't... Uh, I've often said it, but if you draw every game in a season, you, you get relegated, but uh, County certainly won't be doing that. Here's Fevrier from the right flank. He's used the run on the outside as a decoy comes into the middle, gets his shot away and he's put the top of the bar. It's brilliant from February. And with 20 minutes gone, though, the woodwork has come to Northampton's rescue. What a strike from February. It stays nil-nil. Yeah, brilliant. We were talking about Louis Barry doing it off the left-hand side, but County carried just as much of a threat on the right with that man, Jaden Fevrier, who, again, as he comes inside, you know what he's going to do, but you, it's so difficult to stop. And power on the strike, it is dipping. He's so unfortunate to see it just land on top of the crossbar. A yeah, great attempt. It just needs to be kept. You don't want to try and force it too much from a county perspective. Here's Northampton with a chance. The, the shot saved by Corey Adai. Palmed it into a bad area. The effort from Pinnock was on target. He dived to his left-hand side and palmed it back into the penalty area. It's something we've noticed a couple of times with him. He tends to get away with it. But perhaps if ease had been more alive, that could have been a problem. Yeah, potentially, it, it probably is the, the criticism, the one criticism that you would have at him at times. It, it, listen, it moves a little bit in the air, but still you'd expect your goalkeeper to hold on to that. Just trying to draw Northampton out a little bit, County, at the minute. Lewis, that's why Louis, what he wants Lewis Bates to drop deep, to come towards him, to pull the midfielders forward and, and create those spaces for Louis Barry, but... The fans, are, the fans are getting frustrated, though, here, they aren't are. they? I mean, it's frustrating because Northampton aren't biting, and, and so it does look a little bit like, well, what are you doing? But there's, there's method to the madness from, from Corey Adai's perspective. Oh, it's a great ball by Barry. He's picked out Alafi in the box. Alafi's still going. His second touch just took the ball a little bit away from him, and that allowed the defender to make an excellent block. Halfway line, Nick Powell again. Pulling the strings from midfield. Out to that left flank now. Torre driving forward. It's a good ball into the box for Barry. Not too far away. Louis Barry's curling effort. How many times have we seen those bend inside that far post? This one just wide. You almost just expect the net to bulge there as Louis Barry lines that up. It's a really good ball inside from Ibi Torre, the defender commits and doesn't get there, it runs on through to him and you see what he's trying to do, open his body up, whip it into that far corner, it bounces ever so narrowly wide. Heavy touch from February, comfortable clearance by Baldwin, but again, quick turnover, County getting it back halfway. Oh, it's a lovely ball again from Ibi Torre to find Louis Barry on the left wing, can he cut it back? He can! And February misses the target. Had to take it early, had to take it quickly on his left foot. And he's not a million miles away. Ten attempts from County, all off target tonight. Just one on target so far. It remains nil-nil. Well, you can't say they've not had the chances in this second half, County. It's really good work down that left-hand side again. Ibi Torre with the ball to release Louis Barry, who's got the beating again of that right-back, Odimeo, and he cuts it back to Jaden Fevrier. He's got to hit the target there. It's difficult, he's sweeping, he's hitting it. He's got to hit it first time. Bends it just past the post, got to hit the target there. County unlucky. Goalkeeper Burge chips it out. Oh, dear. Too much air under that one. And Nick Powell with a, a quick throw, but too quick. But there's Bates again to pick up the loose ball. 
Powell now with a better chance from the right. Finds Jaden Fevrier. Fevrier's a good ball into the middle for Bates. Prods it through to Bailey on his left foot. Bailey fires wide, should have done better. That's the chance County have waited for. He'll be disappointed he didn't test the goalkeeper. It stays nil-nil. County with a couple of subs warming up. One or two getting stripped and ready, so we are going to see a change. Possibly Michael Mellon. But here come Northampton. And they've struck the post, and it's gone straight back into the arms of a very grateful goalkeeper. So four changes incoming for County. Meanwhile, Alafi plays on. Maybe not for much longer, as he's dispossessed, and he was caught late as well, once the ball had gone by Baldwin. And he stayed down on that far side. Tanto Alafi. It's Northampton come forward. They've got a man on the overlap in Odomeo. It's a good cross and it finds its way to Fosu. It's a super block inside the box. It may well have been Powell. And Chu Chan then wastes the ball, puts it out for a throw in. He's indicating the routine that he wants County to execute here. It's from the opposite side. This will be a left-footed in-swinger from Callum Bate. From Lewis Bate, I should say, looking to bend this in. What can he do? Oh, there's a tangle in the box. It's a penalty. The referee's given the penalty. <laughs> McGeehan's livid. But the referee saw that coming together, as we all did and immediately said, penalty kick. Yeah, it's, it's McGeehan on Wotton, just has hold of him, bundles him to the ground. No attempt to play the ball. McGeehan's not even looking at the ball. He's only got eyes on Kyle Wotton, wrestles him to the ground, and County with a huge opportunity now. Didn't feel like it was coming. Goalkeeper Burge is down at the moment as well. This was a separate incident nearer the goal. Clear foul. I mean, he just ran into Carl Wotton. And Louis Barry has a chance again from the penalty spot at the Cheadle end. Louis Barry successful from the spot at the weekend. Can he repeat the feat? Four minutes remaining. A county penalty at the Cheadle end. Louis Barry looking for goal number eight of the season. Big moment. Barry versus Burge, and Barry scores! He can't stop scoring. It's Louis Barry at the Cheadle end, and county lead 1 0. Cold as ice. The coolest man inside Edgeley Park is once again Louis Barry. He had a long time to think about that, but was never in doubt which way he was going. Same way as Charlton, arcs his run, whips it back across, uh, back across himself into that bottom left-hand corner, and County have the breakthrough at last. Eight goals in 11 games for Louis Barry. And now for Dave Challoner. It's all about seeing out this game. Northampton want to make a change, they want to try and restore parity to the scoreline. Wooden. Fiorini pull back, free kick. The referee's not seen it. How has he not seen the foul from Chucha? Not only is it a free kick, it's a clear yellow card. It's as, as blatant as they come, really. Um, <laughs> it's no different to the challenge that you just give a penalty for. Exactly. And here is Chu Chan at the other end. Oh, yeah. Now Northampton have got a free kick right on the corner of the box and County have gone to surround the referee, absolutely livid about the mistake in the middle of the park. So, Chu Chan walks away. Fossu, will he go for goal? He's dinked it in, a header and a goal. Northampton are level again. Well, county hearts are broken. 
as Northampton level late in the game. Yeah, you just had a feeling that that mistake from the referee would would end up costing County, and it's been the case. <laughs> doesn't mitigate the, the, the defending from a county perspective. Fossil just dinks it into an area and, and it's a free header in, in the six yard box, powered into that top corner. <sighs> yeah, massive, massive frustration from a county perspective. And yes, you can be frustrated with the referee, but also at the defending from Dave Chaloner's point of view. Mike just has snatched a valuable equaliser, but Norwood whipping the ball in towards Wotton. Comes all the way through to the far side. The dipping half volley is over the bar. And that's the last action of the game. That effort from Ibi Torre, that would have been some way to win the match. We'd be talking about that for a long time if it had gone in. But huge disappointment for County at the end, who thought they'd won it in the final five minutes with Louis Barry's penalty. But upset the uh, substitute Tyler McGloy to head home Tariq Fossu's uh, in-swinging free kick to level for Northampton in the last couple of minutes of stoppage time. Heartbreak for County. 